Okay, so we're going to show you um, the board game collection back in this tight corner here. Uh, I see Mike's getting out DuckTales I just here. noticed that there, I did not even know you had this, a DuckTales game. Oh, one thing I do have to point out is that I had some really bad water damage. Uh, we had my uh, sink in my kitchen leaked all the way down here. And actually the game that got it worst of all is Dream Phone. Well, look at that. Dream Phone really got fucked up. Um, so basically to show you a lot of these games, we're going to have to uh, take them out individually because it's just, you know, there's so much stuff down here. Even with all the lights we have here, we, we just can't really light this, this corner. Oh, one thing I do have to say though, I have a lot of Hangman games. I feel like with board games, there hasn't you know been a chance to do a halloween episode because there's so many horror related games but the reason why i've never gotten to it is because you know there's always a nerd halloween special and there's monster madness going on there's just too many things but uh dawn of the dead this is one that somebody sent me a lot of these games came uh by donations so people have been really generous uh sending a lot of their old board games um, well, like the Mr. Bucket and Dream Phone episode kind of turned into Halloween we, episodes. We made horror episodes out of games that were not supposed to be horror related, and we put them out usually in the spring. Like, they were like yeah. spring episodes. When there's time, there's like more time in the spring, and then the year gets busier and busier. You're talking about actually on. doing a horror-themed game. Like, for Halloween. I don't know oh, if we wait, will no, yet, we're but... Oh, wait, we're totally wrong. We, de we did. We did Monster Madness. You're right, you're right. You know, if you can't... That was kind of... Kind of like a promo for Monster Badness, True. but, you know, it it, it it counts, I guess. But this is Dawn of the Dead. Haven't played it yet, but I just think it's crazy that there exists a game of Dawn of the Dead. And you can see it. It's like, uh, it's a pretty simple board. It's just a piece of paper. It doesn't look much better than Deadly Danger Dungeon. Yeah. <laughs> this is supposed to be the mall, huh? Yeah. That's pretty cool. By the way, copyright 1978. So this, this game came out when the movie came out. Yeah. The biggest request for board games at the moment is Nightmare. Mm -hmm. And I do have Nightmare. It comes with a, a VHS tape and there's a, a scary guy on the back, uh, which I've heard about the game. I've never played it yet. I've played it. But you have? What's uh, it like? I played it, well, I played it when I was a kid, I guess back when it originally came out. And mm -hmm. it's just like, you put a VHS tape in or whatever, and there's a guy on screen with like a cloak and a hood. Yeah. And all I remember, because it was such a long time ago, is that he's just like, you are all maggots. <laughs> and he's like saying really nasty things to you. I remember it being a pretty fun game. I, I think I liked it. Um, but it was a long time ago. Can't so. wait to play this one. Yeah, we definitely have to Seriously. do it Seriously. Yeah. Oh, you know, I don't think we have it out here, but another mm -hmm. big one would be the uh, Ouija board. Do I'm not going to tell yet what my idea is for that one, but uh, <laughs> that that always has been a Halloween, uh, you know. And we got uh, Goosebumps. I, I used to read the books of Goosebumps. Uh, did you? I never read the books, but I watched a lot of the show. I, see, I never knew about the show till later, but I used to read the, you know, the books all like all the way through, probably to like number fifty or something. Like I read every single one, but then they started coming out so fast that you couldn't keep up. Yeah. But uh, this looks kind of cool. This looks like you know you gotta like put the the things together. Actually, this looks pretty awesome. Though, isn't it? Yeah. And we will we will get to a lot of these eventually. It's just you know. It's, it's just like there, there's just so little time in the year to, to do board games, but I hope to focus more on it in, in the, the coming years to do more board games. Oh, this game, I want to bite your finger. I think I got this off of eBay, I believe, because I saw an episode, an old episode of David Letterman, and P.B. Herman was the guest that day, mm -hmm. and, and he, it was Halloween, and he was bringing out all kinds of... Um, you know, horror theme things, mm -hmm. and he brought this out, and then Dracula will bite your finger, and then you end you up stick with... stick your finger in there. Yeah, you stick... And, the... and then there's, like, teeth that come down. It sounds dangerous, like Dracula's gonna actually start biting off your finger. Yeah. Wow, okay, you know, I didn't even do this on purpose, but yet another horror game, we got uh, 13 Dead End Drive, and this is another cool-looking one. I actually see a lot of requests for this, too, to tell you the truth. 13 Dead End Drive, yeah. yeah. You know, wasn't it a, um... Oh, no, it's Brain Dead 13. It was a 3DO game. Oh yeah, I get that confused though. Yeah, but uh, looks cool. You got the fortune teller. You got this little uh, chandelier thing. Yeah. I guess it's gonna fall and like kill somebody. I like games that always have elaborate pieces like that. Cause yeah. It's kind of like, it's like playing with toys except with some structure and some rules. They're good for videos yeah. too, cause it's very visual. 
that's what I love about board games, that it's so visual and you could shoot it in whatever perspective you want. Their, ner their nerd episodes are typically mostly footage from video games. Yeah. But, you know, board games is cool because you can actually show, like, Tornado Rex yeah. spinning around or you can show the mousetrap coming down. Mm -hmm or all that kind of cool stuff. Weapons and Warriors shooting the stuff. Yeah. That's what I like about I, it. I love the Weapons and Warriors one. That was great. Yeah. How about this here? Oh my God, this is a uh, laser tag. <laughs> laser I, shot. I think this is not working. It doesn't It doesn't work, um, but I, I would love to hear that sound again, that choo choo. A lot of times it would just be like target practice. Like if you're by yourself, you just put it out in the street. Cars would come and we didn't even care. We just, we just, like, we had no regard for the street when we were kids. And this, yeah. this game, I remember being one of the most reckless and dangerous times of our lives when yeah. we were just running around the street and doing all Not this stuff. Not paying attention where you're going, tripping yeah. over things. We're going to probably have to get another board game of this because it got water damage on it. But yeah. there was all these games, like the Full House game, yeah. the Urkel game. Do the Urkel. Ur 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 <laughs> <laughs> this is awesome. Because I, what I want to do with board games. We were gonna do it like um, really cheesy, like a sitcom, and like have laugh tracks over, you know, over the episode. Yeah. By the way, this is like disgusting because it's all water damage. But you have this thing where like you put your fingers in there, and that that's Urkel. So you you gotta like do the Urkel. <laughs> do, do it, it. everybody. Do, do the, the Urkel, Urkel dance. <laughs> By the way, we got this is like moldy. Yeah, you gross. gotta put this away. I'll wash my hands. Dinosaurs was one we actually thought about doing with Bootsy one time, mm -hmm. and um, we got out the game and we tried to fi you know uh, figure out what to do with it, and we couldn't really come up with anything funny. But I think it's worth another shot. What the hell? Is so, this? oh, this is like a refrigerator or something. Yeah, yeah, it's like all the pieces of the house. They have like the character. Here's like Fran. Fran, <laughs> you know. And... Got you, mama. Again, again. You can already see how this episode is gonna go. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so here we have the Wayne's World board game. And you know what I think is funny about this? If we did a video on Wayne's World, um, the whole thing about Wayne's World is that it was like just like two guys in their basement doing a, doing a show, and that's like what this actually is. Yeah, you I know. know. They're from it's got a lot of stuff on it. Very colorful. Yeah. Kind of reminds me of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle game. You board. got the Gray Poupon Mustard. You got the... Uh, uh, monkeys the monkeys fly the, the butt, and there's actually a monkey... It's a very, very uh, retro looking board. Very cool. <laughs> you know, the only board game that gave a lot of effort to the, the cover of the, the, the tape was Dragon Strike. I kind of want to play this. Yeah, I would love to play this someday. <laughs> so yeah, maybe a future episode. All right, so yet another game that's water damaged. Uh, oh man, oh, that's a shame. Yeah, these are messed up. But and we wanted to do this for a long time, this episode, and we just never got around to it. Yeah, this is Elvis Presley, King of Rock and Roll, but th the main one, it's like actually stuck to the hair. Oh, here. that's a shame. Yeah, but this is Elvis Opoly. Oh, actually, well, this is Elvis Monopoly. Yeah. And this actually, this one's still in pretty good condition. This oh. is Elvis Opoly. So it's basically just Monopoly. But it's um and it has an Elvis theme. Yeah, you had an Elvis cost like a really legit Elvis uh, jumpsuit, and and uh, we always wanted to use it. And and actually, the idea for me personally came with, came when uh, we we were at a dead celebrity party. It was like be be a, a dead celebrity, and you were Elvis, and you were in character like the whole night. I didn't come. <laughs> and you were just talking like Elvis the whole time, and like I just always thought like in the episode. Uh, motherfucker Mike would turn into Elvis while they're playing the game. And also, okay, go, going back to Family Matters again, there is an episode <laughs> where Steve Urkel turns into uh, Elvis. Yeah. and It's a really good impression. It, it, yeah, it's really funny, and, and it would be as random as that. And we would go into like song mode and stuff, and there was that, that song, and so all shook up. We, we wanted oh, to bless my soul, what's wrong with me? It Itching is. like a man on a fuzzy tree. Friends say I'm acting wild as a bug. And then we change it up. I'm in love. No, I'm huh. on drugs. Oh, that's right. Yeah. I'm, I'm on drugs. <laughs> I'm all fucked up. Yeah. <laughs> Basically, I'd be like yeah. doing drugs all the time. Yeah, and, and that I, I just wanted to do that parody of the song. I was like, oh, this is so funny. We're going to do all fucked up. Uh, but, but I mean, so many people have parodied Elvis songs that over the years I've noticed like, like the same exact parody has been done more than once. Yeah, and so we have... All sorts of Elvis. Where did all these Elvis games come from? Just, well, Elvis is a, you know, was a big deal, so they made I mean, a lot of... How did I get all these Elvis games? Oh, well, I got them. <laughs> <laughs> okay, hold that one up. Uh, this is the Rodney Dangerfield game. <laughs> no respect. <laughs> Would you believe that there was a Rodney Dangerfield 
fucking board game? Yeah, you yeah, open it like, up. What do you do in this game? <laughs> well, see, what I always thought was, um, like with this look at the board. Look at the board. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So there's not much to the board, but you got you got Rodney Dangerfield right here. Yeah. Um, What's all this? I don't. I don't know. See, I don't. I have never played this yet. But what I wanted to do for the episode was I wanted to use Rodney Dangerfield like clips in it. And have Rodney Dangerfield like talking the board game, like Caddyshack and, and stuff. Yeah, or like you know, back to school and stuff. Yeah. But there's actual clips that I had in mind that went perfect with like there's one part where he's like like hey where'd you get that hat and, and it'd be like board james's hat you know so they'd kind of be having a conversation back and forth but but i don't know we'll see if we ever get to that one see i, I i'll i'll tell you because this is a dvd and it's like an exclusive thing so it's like one of the ideas was that the ouija board would be bringing it would be contacting other characters who, who are dead to come through the uh, the the games and actually one of them actually where's the hangman can you pick, yeah. hold up that hangman one is that um, oh god yeah, yeah, it's, it's, it's vincent price yeah vincent price so basically it would be like vincent price and rodney dangerfield and all these dead celebrities would be would be board james would be contacting them through the ouija board i have no idea i mean this of all the versions of hangman this is the best one because it's got <laughs> vincent price <laughs> For Hangman, you could just have like a piece of paper and play it on a piece of paper. Yeah. Just to have it as a board game, it's kind of pointless. Yeah, yeah. And then to have Vincent Price on top of it is like extra pointless. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? <laughs> okay, first yeah, of all, yeah. what the fuck is this? Well, this one was donated to me, and this is a, um, it's... Yeah. When, when I was a kid back in the 80s, this was one of my favorite cartoons, and I did not know that there was a, uh, a DuckTales board game, but, uh... It looks pretty simple. It looks looks like there's not much to it, but I just want to see the board real quick, just because yeah. I'm really curious. Um, okay, it looks pretty, pretty basic, you know, N nothing too special. Yeah. Wacky Blasters. This is a yeah. rare game. Um, you open this up. It's really interesting. These little guys here, they look like Cubert. <laughs> look at that. It's like Cubert. Yeah. And they, they yeah, squeak like the dog. They squeak like dog toys. You have these little balls that you gotta like. I think you're trying to blow it into the center here. Yeah. Um. You start. You, you start, start down here. Okay. On these things, and then you you yeah. blow. You go like that, and you try to get the I ball all the way to the top. The game, yeah. yeah. You're just trying to get that that ball to go into the middle. Yeah. And the idea would be that motherfucker Mike would go and get a leaf blower at the end, and then. Well, actually, no. It was gonna escalate. I think first he gets a hair dryer or something. Well, so first, no. Well, first of all, first, first I start doing this kind of stuff. Like. Yeah. Exactly. Like it starts like that, and then then it just gets. I yeah. cheat more and more. Yeah, so it ends with the leaf blower. We just thought it's so funny because if you really took a leaf blower, everything would just the whole board will blow. <laughs> yeah, right? I know, yeah. Yeah. So here's the Pac-Man board game, pretty cool. And I basically, the board I'm sure you, you'd expect is uh, basically a Pac-Man board. Um, yeah. There was also, by the way, I don't think James has them, but there was like a Centipede game, a Donkey Kong game. Really? There was like lots of Atari arcade era mm -hmm. type of games. Um, speaking of video game games, we of course have the Super Mario Brothers game. Yeah. Now this we're gonna definitely have to do someday um, because it's Super Mario Brothers, so you have to, right? Look, you got like different worlds. Oh, you know what? It's kind of like a side-scrolling uh, board uh -huh. game because you just have these different, uh, you know, all the different worlds. You got your different characters, Bullet Bill, Goombas, and so we definitely got to get to that someday. That'll you have be to really check cool. That out. Um, speaking of Nintendo. Uh, games. There was also the Legend of Zelda board game. This is brand yeah. new in the package here, so we're yeah. not we're not going to open that right now. Yeah. Well, we will, but not yet. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe if we I do mean, a video. I mean, you can see on the back what the board looks like. It's just kind of different, you know, Zelda. Yeah. You know what's funny is I actually had this when I was a kid, and remember like the Super Mario Brothers Super Show. Yeah. I had a friend over one day. And we were watching Super Mario Bros. Super Show, but it was the day that had the Zelda episode. So we were watching yeah, the Zelda Fridays, episode, and yeah. I'm like, I'm like, oh, hang on a second, I have the Zelda board game. So I broke yeah. out the Zelda board game, and I played it while watching the yeah. Zelda cartoon, <laughs> actually. More video game board games. Yeah. Now, this is cool. Yeah. Street Fighter 2. Now, finally, I got a chance to show that in the, what was it, the Tiger episode, I think. Yeah. AVGN. You know what? I, I, was, shit. I always thought that my Street Fighter game, well, it has streets. Maybe they took it a little too literal. <laughs> like, okay, let's get some streets. It was somebody that didn't know anything about Street Fighter, so they made it streets. Are you kidding me? What are these? These aren't even Street Fighter places. Saget Shipping. Okay, UN Headquarters. Well, at least they do have the characters from the game. Like, here's here's Blanca, Zangief, yeah. E Honda. All right, so another one I found at one point was this. It's called Super Mario Brothers Great Ladder Race. Now this is more of a toy than a board game, but you know, so was Mr. Bucket and we did a video on that. 
Um, this, I never figured out how to get it to work or anything, but it's like you put these on here and Mario and Luigi are supposed to race up the ladders. I don't know, just an interesting piece of Nintendo uh, game history. It's weird, right? So these like spin around stuff? I think you're supposed to hold it by this and go like that and then they climb, they, they're they supposed to climb up the ladder or you know, something. You know, this might be really fun because it's like about trying to keep them on the ladder without falling like that. I, I always like games like that where... Kind of like you know, Labyrinth, that type of thing. Yeah. In a way. It's, it's not just a roll of the dice. It's kind of like an act, actual physics that determine winning or losing. This is some sort of Done special right. version yeah, of it. Basically, it's the domino dealer. The dealer is the thing that, like, it sets up the the, the oh, dominoes automatically. Yeah, like kind of like, like a oh, car oh, shuffler, huh? Yeah, it's basically like something like that. Like, here's oh, you know what? The dealer's not even in here. These are these are all my different pieces. But you have all these uh, things, and, and you know what? It was just in the '80s. Everything with neon was so cool because you just have the the hot pink and the all these bright colors. But it was basically you, like you build these domino tracks. No, basically, okay, dominoes. Well, originally, Here's, there's dominoes. Yeah, there's dominoes where you just match up, you know, like you got two, and then you got two, right, match yeah. two to two, so you're just putting everything together. But then, domino rally was like dominoes on crack, where now it's like, they're going to be all these, these pink colors, and you're going to put them all together. Oh, and then you got this thing. You know what this did? No, uh, it was no, like, you have all these different rows of dominoes, so you push the thing... And then all the dominoes oh, like, go Oh, that's go right, they once. go in yeah. different directions. That's right, I but forgot about that. I used to love setting up, the, uh, me and my cousin, we would just set dominoes all through the house. But you know what would happen? Before you're done, somebody would always accidentally, accidentally knock it over. So, uh, which was going to be a Bootsy moment. I mean, mm. We were going to have Bootsy knock down the dominoes, but I think I like... So the whole video would be like me and or motherfucker Mike and Board James, we'd set yeah, the whole, yeah. take the whole, the whole video would just be us setting it up. It'd be like really epic. And then be like ready, ready to go. And then Bootsy would come in and just like, you know, you know it should be, it should yeah. be like, what could go wrong? And then Bootsy shows up. So you don't even like, you know, see it coming. As, I feel be, like it would be, be really ridiculous too. Like, yeah. like he, he'd come in and like, he'd knock it over, but then he'd come in and like be rolling over him yeah. and stuff like, like an, like an asshole, you know? Yeah. But I, I loved Domino Rally. It was so intense when you're really getting in there and you're setting them up and then you're like, don't knock it over. Don't knock it over. Don't knock it over. And finally, all right, they're all set up. Now it's time to knock them down. And then, whoo, and we were talking about the boards, like Wacky Blaster and Tornado Rex and all these games, how they look really cool, like in, in a video, as opposed to like showing game footage all the time. Mm -hmm. We'll talk about one that would look good. Domino Rally would be a cool looking video. I almost feel like I want to do Domino Rally as the next episode because... Yeah, it would be awesome. Yeah. All right. And uh, one, one more here that we're going to take a look at real quick. The Omega Virus, and this this might be the biggest request aside from Nightmare, because it's another one of those. Uh, is it a VHS game or is it? Um, oh, it talks. It's like it's like, like it electronic voices. battleship type of. Yeah, and uh, let's look at the board real quick. Now this game is um, it's a really complicated one from what I've heard. So wow, look at this. Yeah, it'd be a great episode, I think. But um, we need to really uh, you know. We have to figure it out and learn how to play it. Th this instruction manual is really awesome, by the way. This looks like like a um, like a marquee on a video game. You think that would have been a video game? Yeah, like these little space guys here. So that this could be an epic episode. So those are just some of the games that we uh, have on the list for possible future episodes.